If you're looking for a fast, free, and low latency way to use your phone as a webcam for OBS Studio, then you've come to the right place. My name's FB Logistic, and let's jump right in. So before we jump right into exactly how we can do it, I want to address a couple of things first. So firstly, the footage that you see right now is actually being recorded by OBS on my computer with my phone, my iPhone XR being used as a webcam for OBS. And if you're looking for, you know, maybe like an example or an outcome of what it would look like, that's exactly what you're looking at right now. Let me just quickly switch to a full face. Hello, I totally don't look retarded right now. Also really quickly, please join my Discord server. The link is in the description. I will haunt you in your nightmares if you don't join it. No, I'm kidding. I'd rather have you like the video and subscribe. But please also join my Discord server. I'm watching you. So I just make it smaller because, you know, it looks better and it looks cooler. So just do it like that. But anyways, second thing I would like to address is that there are some apps that you can use to use your phone as a webcam, but the problem with the apps that I've encountered personally, uh, at least on iOS device, is that uh, for one, you don't actually get to use all of the features unless you've paid a certain amount or like, you know, some of them, they're, they're like free to download, but then you have to pay more to get the full access. And you know, that I'm just, that's not for me, right? I'm just not gonna pay it. And then another thing is that so some of them connect through Wi-Fi and when you connect through Wi-Fi in those apps, they were actually very laggy. They were not low latency at all. They had either like a really high latency or they were just straight up very laggy. There was one app or was it one? Maybe there were like two apps where you could connect um, through, where you could connect through a USB connection, like uh, the lightning cable for like an iPhone. And if you did that, then there was like no latency, but then it means that, you know, you have to use a cable connected to your phone, which means you have very limited uh, positions to where you can actually place your phone as a webcam. See, my, my PC is really far away. If I was to use that method, my webcam would not, I mean, my phone would not be able to reach my PC. So that's just a disclaimer that I wanted to put out real quick. So as a result, we're not gonna be using an app today. We're gonna be using something in your browser that you can just Google up, search up anytime called OBS Ninja. Okay, it's all free to use. You can use it anytime you want to. And it works great. There's there's no lag, it, it works perfectly. Sometimes, actually sometimes there are times where it cuts out a little bit, but for most of the time, there's like maybe like just a tiny, tiny bit latency and it is connected through Wi-Fi as well. So there is a tiny bit of latency, but not to mention it's free and it's very easy to connect to OBS. So step number one, what you wanna do is open up your phone's browser and search up obs.ninja. It'll take you to a website that you're gonna be using for this. So step number two, you wanna click on share your camera and then allow access. And then step number three, choose whether you want your front camera or back camera and then tap on start. Step number four, copy the link at the top of your browser and open a new browser source on OBS Studio and paste the link in there. So if I just quickly switch to this, so as you can see, I have a browser source here, right? If you don't know how to create a browser source, you just click on plus and you just click on browser source like that and you make one. And when, once you make one, you'll have this screen here. Of course, you won't have your face cam yet. It'll be like an empty screen here. And what you want to do in the URL, you want to copy, which is step number five, I believe. Yes. No, sorry. This is step number four still. So you, you want to basically copy the link at the top of your browser once you've started the thing and then paste it into the URL. Obviously, you're probably just going to have to type it out because the link is in your phone and you're typing into your computer. It doesn't take that long. It takes like, what, like 30 seconds maybe. And then you'll notice that it actually says push, right? The, the link will say push. Push. you want to just erase that word and type in view once you've typed that you know just choose your desired width and height whatever you want to do i'm doing 1920 by 1080 which means it's 1080p you can do 720p if you want not really sure whatever you want to do just click ok and it should show your webcam there and then you can adjust the height and whatever and that's it that's really it. it's just that simple to to connect your camera to use your phone as a webcam for obs and you're done that's all really simple right you can just continue using it you can live stream you can record videos uh, like i'm doing right now if you just come back to this screen you'll notice that 
the background there is like a little bit blurry as you can see my hand is blurred so it's not actually like a like an accurate depth of field effect it's just a blur filter that i've put using obs so i'll show you guys how to do it real quick okay so let me just come back to this screen here and i want to show you guys so the way you want to do it let me open up the webcam the filters right so as you can see i have a color correction now let me show you guys what it looks like without any of the filters let me remove the blur and the color correction this is what it looks like without the color correction it looks really dark it doesn't look that good that's because i don't have any lighting in my room any lighting that there's around here is just natural lighting so it's not that great if i move my webcam a little bit this way it looks you know there's a lot more lighting but unfortunately here there's just no lighting so I had to add some color corrections and see that uh, so it's just so much more better. And these are the settings I've used. You guys can use these settings if you want to as well. I, I don't know, it's just up to you guys. And then for the blur, as you can see the background, it's not blurred and it's blurred, see? <laughs> so I've used a uh, Gaussian blur. You can use whatever you want. And the size I've made it 20 and then you want to click apply a mask before I continue with this real quick if you don't care about this you're free to leave the video this is just if you want to make your camera look a little bit better personally I had to do that because it's just not enough on its own so yeah and it's really cool to learn and then you kind of mess around with the edges you know just change up your blur there's some other tutorials out there on how to blur your background maybe I'll link some in the description some other people's YouTube videos check the description if it's not there leave a comment I'll send you a link and that's it really that simple you can obviously adjust the crop make it look better and you know just mess around and yeah you're ready to go you're all set you, your phone is now officially a webcam and you don't have to buy a webcam anymore the thing is webcams are getting expensive as well nowadays with all this coronavirus and all that stuff the webcams prices have you know skyrocketed recently so it's good that we have options like this that allows you to use your phone as a webcam of course this is only obs integrated but there are there are apps and stuff like that if you guys want to see those kind of tutorials you guys can just search up search it up on youtube i don't think i have to make a video on that there's already a lot of videos but that, that's really it for this video if i was able to help you guys please uh leave a like and subscribe if you haven't it really helps me out i'm very close to 6,000 subscribers so i'd really appreciate it and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out